Welcome to ProStitch Your Light Tutorials. Repositioning a design is really easy once you understand the basics of it. So let's walk through a few different ways to reposition a design. Let's start with a design that has been saved, an edge to edge design that's been set up. So let's take a look at the screen and I'll walk you through the steps of how to open that saved design. First, we go to our file tab, design, and then your saved design should be here. My uh, saved design was this repeat double swirls. And you can see, looking at the screen, it is not in the correct position to be able to start stitching. So before I shut down, I moved my machine over to where the start point of the next row would be, right here. So I'm gonna move my machine over there and do my needle down button so that my machine doesn't move as I go through this repositioning process. Let's select the Pro Stitcher tab and choose new start and end on the ribbon right there. And then in the sidebar, there's two columns. We have our start and our end column. We want to adjust our start point. At the bottom of the start column is this word jumps and the two arrows pointing down and pointing up, move that start point to the next jump in the design. I want to jump down to the beginning of the second row. So I'll do this, the down button, I'll push it once, and now that is right where it should be. Next, we'll select the modify tab and reposition on the ribbon. We'll select start point in the sidebar. And because my machine is right where that start point is, it's going to move the design so that the start point is right where the crosshairs are, which corresponds with my needle. My design is now positioned and ready to stitch. If I do need to fine tune this a little, I can always grab my zoom tool right here, draw a little box and zoom in and make sure that it's right where it should be. I can use my nudge buttons over here in the sidebar to slightly adjust my design so it's right where it should be. Now, just a note, if you happen to be leaning on your poles a little bit while you're doing this, it may actually adjust your positioning on your quilt. So make sure that you're away from your poles while you're doing this repositioning. At this point, you can go ahead and stitch the design if you're ready to start. Just don't forget to lift your needle before you start. Let's walk through a couple of other ways to reposition a design. I'm gonna to touch my refresh to frame space button and I want to clear this design. So we'll go to file tab and choose clear all. My frame space stays on the screen, but I can now open another design and show you some other ways to reposition. So let's go to design and open. I want to choose a design from my blocks here. I'll choose this arc shape and open it. Refresh to frame space again. And you can see, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit here. You can see the ways that I can reposition this design. So once again, let's go back to the modify tab. Reposition is selected on the ribbon and I can reposition with the start point. However, you can see right now, the start point is at my crosshairs. If I touch end point, my, this design isn't going to move because the end point is also at the same place. Um, the current point, you can see that this is actually grayed out right now. The current point is only available if you're paused while stitching, but you can actually do these repositioning features while stitching. Next, we've got drag and drop. This is a really awesome feature. What it does is it attaches the crosshairs to the design. So if you watch here on the screen, I'm gonna start moving my machine and I'm just pulling that design down. So I can actually move that design around with my machine. I can find a point on the quilt where I want to line this design up, for example, that point right there. And when I have it where I want it, I touch drop. I can do that either in the, side, in the sidebar here or Drag and drop are also in your quick access tools. Next, we have the crosshair quadrants. So that's what these buttons are, the top left. What it does is it places the top left corner of the design at the crosshairs. We have the top right, 
bottom right and bottom left. These can also be very useful in moving a design around. And finally, we have the nudge tools here. These allow you to fine tune the position of your design. If you notice here, it hardly looks like I'm moving it at all. But if I choose my zoom tool and I zoom in closely, you'll be able to see that design reposition so you can get it exactly where you want it for your next project.